Hey guys, this is Ron Moore, and this is a video response to Top Tier Games Mega Man 2 No Death Challenge. Now, I don't think I've ever beaten this game without dying, but I'm going to give it a try here and let's see how it goes. My favorite video game of all time. This is like the fifth time I played this game on YouTube. Jeez. And so, yeah, um, this is just another excuse to play Mega Man 2. So let me try to use maybe Skip's tips here to see if I can get through this game without dying. I don't know if, I, again, I don't know if I ever beat this game without dying. Let's see if I can now. In one of my vlogs, I was going to, I was actually playing this game to have some footage. Like, you know, like background footage or whatever but some people do in their vlogs. Just have gameplay playing while they're ranting or whatever, but, um, well, watch out for the spikes! Um, but I scrapped that because I thought it might be too distracting, people won't be paying attention to what I'm saying, but then again, maybe I might start doing that as an excuse to play some good games. What do you guys think? Let me know in the description box. Let me know in the comment section of, uh, my video to see um, if I should start doing that in my vlogs, have some gameplay footage. Alright, so yeah, I'm gonna try not to provide the same commentary I did in the other four or five different versions of Mega Man 2 I've done on YouTube. Uh, old school 2007 uh, S2K shows, we did a review of this. Then I did a let's play of it in 2009. Um, then I uh, did a low-budget review of it with Skip Rogers. And then in 2011, I did an LP of it on the S2K. And now I'm doing another video of it right now on the Rumor channel. There was one that was scrapped. That was like maybe uh, September, October 2007. But that was scrapped and I redid it as the S2K show version. Alright, so now I'm at Bubble Man. This game definitely brings back a lot of great memories. And again, I'm going to try not to repeat myself in the previous commentaries of this game, but when you've done this game five times on YouTube, it's going to be tough to think of something original to say. But the purpose of this video is to attempt to do the uh, Mega Man 2 No Death Challenge. I was actually kind of thinking of doing a challenge back in 2009 of trying to beat the entire game with just the regular gun because I did do that when I was a kid. I beat the game with the regular gun. There's a little uh, trick right there. Hold A and B to make the birds, the stars turn to birds in the background. I was trying to do, when I did this LP in 2009, I was thinking if I should do a regular gun run and beat the game with just a regular gun. Of course, again, you cannot beat the Dr. Wadi Stage 4 supercomputer without the crash bombs. But other than that, then yeah, uh, I did beat the game with the regular gun, and that's because I was an idiot and didn't really realize you can use different Robot Master's weapons on there, even though it flat out told me. One of my favorite tracks in the game right here is Airman Stage. Another idiotic moment from my childhood at Mega Man 2 was the robot matches on the screen. I thought you could play as them. I didn't realize they were your enemies. And then when I seen people play as Mega Man, I go, dang, Airman is thinner than how he appeared in the thumbnail. But anyway, this was the first Mega Man, Mega Man game I played. I did not play part one first. And Mega Man 1 is not a bad game, I just don't think it's as great as people say it is. And that's probably because I pay played this one first and I went back to part 1. And I'm like, eh. Because this game just really, in my opinion, put the Mega Man games on the map. Now, 
I thought that was Airman 2 when I was a kid. Well, Airman came out to find me early, and then he goes back to his chambers, and I found him again. And that was close. Oh, you see that? Yeah, and that was not an emulator glitch. That really does happen in the cart, too. And I should mention I am using the emulator, but I promise you I am not using any save states, cheats, or anything. Tool assist, nothing like that. It's the only form of recording I have. I can't record off my TV, nor do I have the NES. I think I do have the NES, but not the cart. So yeah, take it for what you want, but I am not cheating, I assure you. Here is Airman. Jump the, jump the tornadoes to kill, to kill Airman. I'm trying to quote Skip Rogers there. Yeah, jump the tornadoes. That really did work. And this part is slow. You can't skip this. I mean, I could do a quick cut, but I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating. quick man now it's gonna get real it's gonna get real real quick where they had Nestle quick man fell I, I, I was thinking of getting the extra life I'm so used to getting that but I forgot this is no death run so might as well not this Mexican music right here whatever the heck it's called just awesome One hit kills right here. All right, yes, E barrel. So yeah, I mean, not to toot my own horn, but I mean, I am pretty experienced and good at this game. But I don't know if I've ever beaten it without dying. Oh shoot! Speaking of. Hope not. Come on, come on. If I am going to die in this game, I want it to be at least, um, you know, get halfway through the game or through most of the game. So don't assume just because I did a video answering the challenge does not mean I actually succeed the challenge because that really helps the video to become a little bit unpredictable. Am I going to pass this challenge or not? We will see. You might think, what's the point in doing the video then if you can't pass the challenge? Why don't you at least try it and just be as real and raw as I can? And if I do cheat in games, I let people know. In a lot of my videos, I do cheat, but I let people know. But this is a challenge, so let's see if I can answer the challenge and, you know, I want to be legit about it. So here's Quick Man. Use your regular gun to be Quick Man. Come on. When I was a kid, he's one, one of the hardest robot masters to me, him and Crash Man. Alright, I did it. Wow, Skip's tips really work. Real Mega Man wear pink. Alright, now it's time to turn up the heat. When I was a kid, this track and Crash Man's track was the least favorite. But my least favorite in the game. And now I look back and say, okay, weren't they weren't that bad, but they're still not as epic as the other tracks in the game. Watch out that far, don't make it far, one hit kills. Yeah, right, I'll just get the extra life. I've always called those things little bathroom dial cleaners. See, the other one disappeared. Ah! 
Oh, I've been never good with these reappearing blocks. See? Look at that. How pathetic is that? There we go. Ah, move. Jeez, ah, see, I'm trying to be careful right here. Cause I want oh, jeez, that almost messed me up. Almost, almost caused me to fall into the daggum pit. There we go. The skip says use a C weapon there, but I really don't want to. Because I don't need to. Definitely don't use it there. Alright, I'm glad I got item too, because yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten through that the, the lake of fire right here without the jet ski, as Skip Rogers would call it. Crane. Now, I can't tell you enough how much I loved this freaking game when I was a kid. Me and a lot of my friends played it all the time. Alright, again, I'm gonna try to get through this game with just a regular gun. Right here, supposed to use the bubble lead. Nice. Now to get item. God, what the heck? Item uh, one, I think it is. Yep. version of Steam Chameleon stage. That'd be cool. I wonder if anybody's ever, ever made a, a fan-made game of an 8-bit version of some of the Mega Man X games. That'd be pretty cool. Watch out for Blue's Clue. getting hit. I mean, because the air tornado, the airman stage, I mean, I don't know if you can be airman quick enough to avoid the tornadoes. I don't know. But anyway. Watch out for Dr. Kong. I'd like to see an 8-bit Donkey Kong Country game, that'd be pretty cool. Thank <laughs> you. 
Remember, don't use the metal weapon. Skip Rogers is right. All right, now Metal Man is next. To get the e barrels, they can be extra energy when you eat one. When you eat one, you eat the. It just sounds weird. Oh man. Mm. Ah, what? Okay, remember, I'm trying to get through, uh, try to get as far as I can in this game without using any other weapons except the pea shooter. Pea shooter, whatever it's called, regular gun, whatever, just a gun. I think the E tank is a. Oh no, jeez. Um. No clown on wheels. What the heck is that thing? I better gear up. Shoot the floating pipe people. Now, if this game was on difficult, if this is on normal, for those who didn't notice at the beginning of the game, if this is on difficult, you gotta kill him twice. Alright, yes. Now the E-Tank. Now this right here, if you didn't have the jet ski, as Skip Rogers would call it, how are you gonna get past that without dying? Guess you can't. Guess you gotta die start again. Alright, here's Metal Man. Skip was wrong about that. I did not have to use the energy refill. Oh, even Skip Rogers isn't perfect. Alright. Not there. I have to stop recording because the camp studio will kind of really lag and freeze up if you don't stop past the thousand second mark so I promise you no cheating happened as I am now invading Flashman's world oh, I forgot my path is the quickest over here I probably just messed up another awesome soundtrack the beginning right here kind of sounds like almost like a spoof of James Bond music again. Just a cool freaking stage. 
I wonder what, what Capcom, the programmers are thinking, all right, Flashman, so how would we design a stage for a robot master named Flashman? I don't know how else they could have done it, but this is pretty cool right here. Stay on top here. Pick up another E. I mean, the music, the stage, just Capcom was freaking epic back then, man. They just, they really nailed it with this game. Dang it, I was trying to get past Crane there. Yeah, there we go. This room right here, though, the green bricks, that's, uh, that's, that really clashes with the rest of the stage. But anyway... Gotta be the easiest robot master, probably. I don't know who's easier, maybe Nightman from Mega Man 6 or uh, I forgot. Uh, Toad Man from Mega Man 4. Flashman just basically runs into you. He's supposed to use his freeze power. But he doesn't right here, so that's kinda weird. But anyway. Alright now for item three. Well that's a coincidence to be Flashman the screen starts flashing. Wait, maybe to locate that media? We'll find Dr. Wowie. Oh, look at Mega Man. Oh, the pretty pink. Alright. Crash Man. This robot master really kicked my butt when I was a kid. Then I finally figured out the pattern and I beat him with, believe it or not, the regular gun. I don't try to get through the stage without using the leaf shield, which really help you. Like right here and other parts. Let's see if I, I did I, I did get past the stage with just a regular gun and not the leaf shield because I didn't know better, but I still did it. Let's see if I do it again. Now as a kid, again, this is one of the tracks in the game. This music I really wasn't too fond of. I mean, it really pales in comparison to most of the other tracks in the game. Okay, what is this anticip anticipation now for the NES? What's a drawing? Maybe Skip Rogers drawing a map. This work is real. This is not perfect music for a robot master like a Crash Man. Come on. It is kind of catchy though, I'm not going to lie. A floating pipe people. This guy, jump out and jump back. Well, I should have listened to Skip. Oh, there we go. Alright, this is gonna be tough without the leaf shield. Not really tough, you still have, if you have full energy, it'll be alright, but it's easier with the leaf shield. Oh, close. I think I'm maxed out. Yes, I am. Go ahead and get it anyway, because I'm so used to getting it. What, what's up here? I forgot. I think it's Sexual Life, which I don't need because it's no, supposed to be a no death run. It's freaking evil grasshoppers over here. Oh, that's close. Ah, I forgot. 
pretty cool that it got dark all of a sudden. Ah! Jeez, come on. Alright, so here's the pattern. Of course, with two or three hits, he's dead with the air tornado. But let me see. I can still beat him with the regular gun. I can't believe Skip called him Clash Man, I think. You know what, though? To be fair, and I might be wrong, but I think in Japan, is is he known as Clash Man? Maybe that's what Skip was thinking? I don't know. Or maybe I'm just an idiot. What, idiot who just beat Clash Man? Oh, excuse me. Now he's got me saying it. The idiot that beat Clash Man with the regular gun. Now I got the C weapon. Here we go, Skull Castle. Skip tips and not die in this game. Don't die. The fourth level is tough in this castle. So Skip Rogers is right. The fourth level is tough, but... <laughs> he wasn't talking about Mega Man 2 though, but I am. The fourth Dr. Le Wily level is tough. In my opinion, the toughest stage in the game. Alright, let's see if I can make it to the Skull Castle without dying. Oh, that was stupid. Jeez, come on. Disappear already. Man. Right, here's the, at least I get to listen to the best track in the game while I'm messing up over here. I used to be able to jump up there without the one, item one. Get on that ledge and then just time your, your jump perfectly. Get it right the first time. Yes, when I was a kid, it took me. It took me so many tries to get that done. Shoot, here we go. Let's see if I beat the dragon here with the regular gun. Of course, use the heat man's weapon, I think. Uh oh. Heat missiles, but. Oh, oh, I did it. Wow. It's been a while since I've done that. Every time I hear that song now, the freaking Dr. Wally Castle intro, I think of Skip Rogers tips. 
I don't know why he just didn't use it. Right after the Mega Man 2 review, review he, he used the, uh, not review, but tip video, whatever. He used Dr. Wally's intro throughout the entire series of things he did. Ah, oh, dang, I didn't mean to jump right there. Okay, now I am going to have to use a weapon other than the pea shooter. That's the C weapon. And his energy tank, too. Damn it. Oh, I'm maxed out anyway. Never mind. I think I did that again, freaking candy wrapper platform. There we go. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. Are those really supposed to be fans down there? That's uh, big fans or whatever the heck they are. Jeez. Oh, Fighting uh, Transformers, whatever the heck they are. Ah. Normally we use bubble lead. Guys, one more. There we go. Here we go. The fourth level. Get that E-Tank. Ah! Ah, oh, man, that's messed up. Come on. Oh, well, I might still be able to survive with three. I need to stock up on crash bombs and item one. Wait, I'm an idiot. This is level three. What am I talking about? Okay, level four is next. Duh. No, this stage is easy. It's the next level. The fourth Wily stage is tough. Oh, that fish, I don't think that fish ever got me. The fish is too slow. It's pretty cool though, it scared me when I first seen that. These two stages right here, three and four. Wait a minute, I gotta concentrate. There we go. These two stages, three and four, the music, this music is eerie. So when I played this when I was a kid, sitting in front of my TV in the dark. Get to the stages the first time, man, it was a creepy experience, but it's pretty awesome. Alrighty, well, here's it. The dreadful, fearful the Guts Dozer. Guts Man reincarnated. And Skip will say, here's the Gutsy part. It looks intimidating, but it's actually pretty easy. Here we go. The tough fourth level. 
Hardest freaking stage in the game. Stock up on item one and the crash bombs. Ah, the false platforms. Jeez, Simon's Quest now. At least in Simon's Quest, you can throw a holy water to see which floors are false. You can't do that in Mega Man 2. Yeah, for a angry video game nerd, anybody else bashing Simon's Quest for doing that? Well, Mega Man 2 is guilty of it too. All oh, right here, yeah, this is trolling right here. Oh man, there we go. That E tank. It's the candy wet wrapper platform. Dang it, jeez. Shield here. Want to be careful of this part. Ah, oh, ah, oh, dang it! That's it. Ah, oh. it's a little bit late. And use my leaf shield. Dang it, man. Oh well, it was a good run. I wanted another excuse to play Mega Man 2 on YouTube. It's my favorite game of all time, so it was worth a try. But wow, it's pretty impressive though. This is actually my third. It was this was my third attempt. This was my third attempt to do, to do this, and I'm not going to try this again. I tried, failed the challenge, but at least I took it on and tried. Uh, it was a fun thing to attempt to do. I am looking forward to the rest of Top Tier Games' version of this challenge. And so, yeah, um, at least you guys know for sure that I'm not cheating now, because if I was cheating, I would have obviously passed the challenge. But, oh well, hey, I tried my best. Not all of us can be Skip Rogers. All right, guys, that is it. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless. And